Hi all, this is Ritwik and uh, welcome to Deep Learning in Class Exercise 4 that is Image Classification with CNN. So the task for today is to create an image classification model based on CIFR data set that is it has 10 classes out in the output layer. So our task is to create an additional CNN layer with the given dimensions as uh, 32 feature maps with a size of 3 by 3 with a dropout layer of 20% so there are a certain number of layers to be added and after that we visualize them in the graph and predict the first four images of the rest data let's go through the code I have done this in Google Colab and uh, set up a GPU instance for it and you can access that in the runtime uh, ch go to change runtime and then select GPU as your hardware accelerator so first we load all the dependencies, uh, then we set the random seed, this is the given code by the TS. So once we load the data set, that is the C4 data set, we normalize the data that is X train and Y train, I mean uh, we divide them with the highest value of pixel that is 255 and once we normalize them we, uh, we do a one hot encoding that is converting the output classes into ones and zeros for a Y train and Y test then we build the basic model so this basic model is given model and let's see uh, we also need to save the tensor board graph which will be saved in this particular folder we have already done it for two two of the models the first one being the given model by the ts and the second one is an improved version which is an in class exercise so the hyperparameters of the model are a box of 25 and learning rate of 0.1 sorry 0 0.01 and uh, we do an uh, optimizer used is SGD and this is the model summary it's a big model as well so running this on GPU is always better so because my Jupyter notebook took a long time in running this so you can see that the validation accuracy close to about 72 percent the first time I ran it it was about 71 so on an average you can consider it as a 72 percent so this is the evaluation of the model is giving accuracy you could still have loss as well then then this is the present ICP task that is we add another layer of convolutional neural net that is this to the existing one and then add a flattening layer and then a dropout layer in the end with a dense lit neural network I mean dense layer as well with a softmax as a final activation but let's follow the same uh, hyperparameters not to change any of them from the previous model so epox is 25 and learning rate is 0 0.01 and SG SGD is the optimizer so with that this is a huge network you can just see the parameters there it is almost five times heavier or five times more complicated than the previous model so this is about one two three four four times and this is about a, this is even more complicated model so once with this we when we fit it took quite some time in training but we have a better accuracy that is accuracy is 80.23 can we make it still better yes we can add another CNN layer or a dropout layer in the end and see you can experiment on it in uh, as your own and the second task is to show them in the tensor board graph and the final task which is printing the output labels so this is my I've created a data frame stored all the labels or I mean image IDs into this particular column and then all the labels as a prediction whatever my model is predicting the X test so my for the first five images my prediction is this 38806 so let's see what is the actual prediction or the I mean actual values so these are the actual values so this particular code converts one hot vectors to integers and we get this so you can see that the predicted ones and the actual ones are the same so that completes our ICP and let me I have downloaded these into my local folder and the logs are over here so right now I have the first model I have the second model with the logs here so that is our input uh, I mean the ICP model so let's go to the tensor board and visualize the graphs so this is the accuracy plot it is close to about 80 
you can see 87 and this loss is close to 40 so which is pretty good this is a general loss and this is the validation of accuracy which we have and this is the validation of loss this is close to 60 percent so by changing the graph plots we'll also have the old model so let me just place it over here in that path and refresh the tensor board graph I'm doing this to highlight the graphs individually you can even combine them so once we refresh it we have the data let's put relative and this this would be fairly the same but this is this will be the huge difference so this is close to 70 and the loss is pretty high that's it thank you so much